One of the most common and popular transformer types in use today are the single phase units with a 480 volt by 240 volt primary and a 240 120 volt secondary. We're going to examine the wiring for an epoxy encapsulated transformer here, but the H connections and X connections will be the same across all transformer sizes and wiring types. All such transformers have four H connections and four X connections. On this particular transformer, the H wires are black, the X wires are red. This coloring is visually convenient, but is not always the case. Sometimes all wires are black, sometimes all are red, and so forth. We're going to start with the very popular 480 volt input on the primary. We're going to connect H2 and H3 together and tie them up with a very common wire nut, which leaves H1 and H4 as our 480 volt input. So one line of 480 volts will come in on H4 and the other will come in on H1. The other very popular option is the 240 volt input and we'll use what I call the evens and odds method. We'd find the even numbered wires H2 and H4 and we would connect those together. Put a wire nut on it. Then we'd find the odd wires H1 and H3 and we'd similarly put a wire nut on those. And one line of 240 volts would come in on H1, H3 uh, odd numbers. The other line would come in on H2 and H4 the even numbers. The secondary of the transformer is wired in very similar ways. We'll start with the very popular 240-120 with neutral wiring in which we would wire X2 and X3 together and that connection would be your white wire neutral and that would leave X1 and X4 available with 240 volts between them. So you have 240 volts and your white wire neutral. Now if you were wiring this for a motor, let's say, that was just a 240 volt motor, you would just use the X1, X4 connection and not use the neutral. You would just put it into the wiring compartment. Now the other popular wiring for the secondary is 120 only. And you would then use the evens and odds method. You would connect X2 and X4 and that would be your white wire neutral. And then you would connect X1 and X3. That would be your black wire hot. And that would be your 120 connection, white wire in X2 and X4, black wire on X1 and X3, 120 volt out. These transformers are very versatile and can be wired with any combination allowable for 480-240 primary, 120-240 secondary. Thank you.